Uh, Alright, hello. Uh, my name is, oh, for those who don't know me, my name is Jason Chung, and I'm running for your um, historian position here. And um, I'm a junior here at UBC majoring in information systems. And a quick little fun fact about me is that um, I'm actually a first year here. I'm a transfer student from uh, Montgomery College. And um, I, before coming here, I got my associate degree at a uh, community college, and yeah. Uh, uh, VSA was one of the first clubs that came, um, that, that joined coming here and I met a lot of cool people so quick shout out to you guys and um, uh, yeah quick shout out to you guys. A couple of qualifications that I'd like to mention is that um, I've been taking pictures and videos ever since sophomore year of high school and it's been a passion for me ever since and um, I, have, I have many experiences in, uh, in video editing, uh, photo editing, softwares like uh, Photoshop, Lightroom and Premiere and um, I would also like to mention that um, I was a part of my news, my old high school's newspaper team as their primary photographer, and like my TV production uh, class as um, my primary videographer. And post uh, post high school, I was an assistant photographer, numerous weddings and photo shoots, just as like a hobby. And the reasons why um, I would like to be your next historian is to help push out media content to help VSA um, can grow to be something even bigger. Um, it is safe to say that the majority of us that um, use social media and we're always on it. That is why U VSA utilizes and promotes all news and events through it. And with all my credentials, I believe that um, I believe that I have the capability of pushing it and pe pushing appealing and entertaining content uh, to help promote VSA. But in the long run, regardless if I get elected or not, um, I just hope for the best for UMBC VSA and that. Um, UMBC VSA would thrive until the end of UMBC. Uh, uh, thank you for all uh, you guys listening to my speech and and yeah. Hi, my name is Anna. In case you don't know me, and I want to be UMBC VSA's next public relations chair. When I first started VSA two years ago, I honestly never thought that I'd be consistently involved in this organization because I used to be like really shy and awkward. Um, fortunately though, I've met people who have helped me evolve and like grow into a more outgoing and outspoken person. Um, I've been to countless events since my freshman year, from like GBMs to fundraisers, MAC, semi-formals, like any, you name it. And like before Blink of an Eye, I'm still here and I'm about to enter my third year with the same group. And I've been increasingly involved in VSA over the years. In fact, I helped organize our last event, the Coffee and Thai Tea fundraiser, or not the fundraiser, the study night. And it really taught me like how much time and effort and teamwork I really needed to like put in like to the events, and also just how how important it is to work with eBoard. Um, I always told myself that school should be the only priority in college, but it turns out VSA is just something I keep coming back to, and it's given me so much, so it only feels right to give back. As your PR chair, I will promote our organization to reflect how successful, honest, important, and relevant it really is. This position is essential because building relationships is what will keep everyone connected, whether it be internally within the student body or externally, meaning that we collaborate, support, and work with other schools and organizations. In this day and age, the use of social media has been booming, so I plan on utilizing these tools to convey to everyone through events and social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram that VSA is reputable, all-inclusive, and of course, prideful of the Vietnamese culture. Um, adding on to that, I hope to improve communication between lots of schools, gain and retain members, improve student body dynamic, and more importantly, create a good reputation for ourselves so that um, I can help encourage people to harbor the organization that we all know and love. So thank you for your time, and I hope to be able to work, to work with you all. Hi VSA, my name is Song Yoon and I'm running for the Public Relations Chair. Uh, I've been in VSA since freshman year, but I've only recently started getting involved and ha having like a more active role in our club, uh, thanks to being an intern. And uh, this is thanks to VSA allowing me to learn more and appreciate Vietnamese culture some more. And uh, because of my friends and people on the e-board uh, persuading me to come out to more events and like meetings. And uh, I'm a junior media and communications major pursuing a career in PR or talent management. 
and I've taken a lot of classes that are relevant to um, to like social media and interpersonal communications, which are valuable in this uh, position. And I've developed skills in communicating clearly and efficiently, um, which which are also duties of a, a PR chair. And uh, I've sorry. Uh, I'll keep our members engaged and updated by actively posting interesting content. Um, for example, I know we've been experiencing some low member turnouts to our events. So I plan to, one example is like I plan to post countdowns like to the events because, you know, we, we post about them like a couple times, but like, you know, people will forget. And, and this isn't like just to remind our members, but to keep them excited for the events. Um, because people can know about the events, but like not really be interested in it. And I have more ideas regar regarding member retention and engagement that I'd be happy to address during our Q&A session. And I understand that um, PR is, like, PR represents um, the club. So I think that I can be the face of a VSA, even though I'm not Vietnamese. Um, I think I can respectfully, you know, respectfully and respectfully represent our club in a fun manner. And so once again, my name is Song Yoon, and I appreciate if you guys gave me the opportunity and privilege to serve you as the PR chair. Uh, my name is Kevin Tran. I'm a second semester freshman. I'm a biology BA major, and I'm, in, I'm running for a uh, sports chair. So why am I interested in running for sports chair? Initially, coming in as a freshman to UMBC, I was, I was exposed to many organizations and clubs. Uh, I wanted to see what clubs at UMBC had to offer, and I wanted to be involved in clubs that interested me. Uh, I also wanted to meet new people that had similar interests as I did. I participated in clubs such as Beach Club, uh, Rugby, and of course VSA. Uh, participating in events and attending VSA general body meetings were interesting, but what really caught my attention was the Turkey Bowl team. So for me, I enjoy playing any type of sports, especially football, because I'm a very competitive person and I like to develop, develop a chemistry with new people uh, with, through interacting with them. <clears throat> so Turkey Bowl was what really made me become more involved with VSA because at UMBC, uh, it doesn't have a football team, as you all know. And being able to play any type of football at your school is more of a privilege. Uh, I was able to particip participate in VSA Turkey Bowl, where I had the opportunity to meet younger and older people of all ethnicities uh, and made new friendships, new friendships within the team. I grew to learn about how important it is for some of the older teammates to actually be on the team and to win. It was an honor to play for the team, uh, as well as being able to bring home the championship trophy. However, through participating in Turkey Bowl, it wasn't just about winning. I was able to develop a good connection and chemistry uh, with many people, which made me want to get involved with VSA. So even though uh, I was in the uh, Turkey Bowl, I would hope to contribute more as an e-board member next year and hope to get members to be more involved with Turkey Bowl. And even if I don't win, I'm excited for next year's Turkey Bowl and will continue to contribute more VSA events. VSA has become a greater part of our lives than we've ever imagined. Hi, if you don't know us, my name is Vivian Pham and I'm on the 2 plus 2 pre-nursing track. And I'm Jocelyn Lett. I'm an upcoming sophomore majoring in chemistry. And we're running for a co-coach chair together because we know that it's a big responsibility. We think we work well together because VSA is where our friendship truly blossomed and found that our ideas are similar. We're willing to put in the work to make Coach so a success along with VSA as a whole. I decided to run only after my freshman year because VSA has given me the cultural pride that I've never truly had. I was so welcome into the organization after Nathan became my big. His dedication to both my twin, Linda, and I warms my heart. He never fails to make me feel included and has pushed me to work harder and made me into the person I am. That sounds dramatic, but I've changed a lot because of him. But still, I wanted to remain in the back of the organization, shying away from any spotlight. But my family leader for Max 7, Stacy, is my true reason for running. 
After the conference, she told me about how much she believed in me and how she thinks I'll be able to become a strong leader within the Vietnamese community. It's an incredible feeling when someone has faith in you. But it was up to me to grow, so I took it into my own hands and I'm now running as co-culture chair with one of my closest friends by my side. I grew up in a very culturally invested environment, whether it was within my family or my church. I was in an organization at church that involved incorporating leadership skills with Vietnamese culture, and I've been part of traditional events such as dance, fashion show, skits, and skits. However, there was a time where I hid my culture because I was afraid others would make fun of me for being different, which in turn made me somewhat ashamed of being Vietnamese since I wasn't like everyone else. But as I grew older, I eventually learned to embrace rather than repress. VSA has taught me to keep that love going and becoming co culture chair would help me share what I know and love as well as give back. I know Jocelyn and I have very different reasons as to why we're running, but it doesn't change how passionate we feel about the organization. We know that if we were to become a part of this e-board, we wouldn't be restricted to culture show duties. But both of us are willing to lend a, a helping hand, whether it's driving to monthly MASA summits, planning events in GBMs, organizing the ACE program, or attending other MASA schools events. Despite the size of this potential e-board compared to the previous years, there will always be room for, for improvement, and there will be times when we need each other. VSA has welcomed both of us with open arms, but we know it isn't all about Vietnamese students. This organization has given us a chance to learn about other cultures like Taiwanese, Cambodian, and Korean. Hana, do, set, taso, yoso, ugo. I forgot one, but I'm still learning. <laughs> I never thought that I'd meet a group of such inviting and inclusive people. We want VSA as a whole to learn how to love like they are their family because this organization has become our family away from home. There's a lot of responsibility being on an e-board, but thankfully both, both of us have learned from our bigs, Mayan and Nathan. They have become our role models and we wish to make them proud. Being a part of Culture Show this year and having our culture chair as my big has shown me the ins and outs of planning and directing the show. Both Mayan and Nathan's commitment to not only Culture Show but to the organization has inspired us to make a change and follow in their footsteps. <coughs> I hope that you decide to vote for us for Cool Culture Chair because we want to make as big as, as, big as a difference, as big of a difference <laughs> that VSA has made in our lives to future students and members. Thank you. Uh, hi guys. Um, I'm not the best speaker, but or writer, but I'll try to do my best to like uh, get through these uh, main points across. Get my main, main point across. Hi, people of VSA. Um, for for people who don't know me, for people who don't know me, my name is Clinton Huen. I'm a junior major in mechanical engineering, and I want to run for treasurer because I want to become more involved in, in VSA by joining the new e-board and giving back to this wonderful organization. I want to help VSA grow and make new members feel welcome and uh, make them feel like they're part of a family that supports them. Uh, when I went to college and came out to the first few G, uh, GBMs during like my freshman and sophomore year, um, I got uh, I, I only went to a few uh, GBMs the first times. Then I got like bored out, out of it because I didn't see like a reason to come back. But then like my one friend Brian uh, took me out, told me to come out to uh, Mac and register for it because it was like a fun opportunity that I shouldn't that I don't want to miss out on. Um, he showed me um, he showed me how amazing and great VSA is as a whole in the Mazda region. Everyone in the Mazda region is so welcoming and caring and accepting and support and supportive as a big family. Uh, I want to meet I want I met a lot of people there and like they helped me grow and shared. We they um, I met a lot of people there and helped me that also grew up like me and shared like the same struggles as I went through and overcame them as a child and bond with them a lot there. Uh, I learned a lot through everyone's life stories and experiences growing up as a Vietnamese American. And I felt like, I felt like a sense of belonging there. We all, we all can learn from each other and push each other to grow as uh, leaders and individuals. As treasurer, as treasurer, uh, as a treasurer resident, I will organize and keep track of the transactions and money flow and I'll try to apply for grants for VSA to get more money. I hope, uh, I hope to uh, plan more fundraising uh, ideas and plan for more fun events to give back to the general body member and make uh, their experience in VSA a fun time. Um, I have a lot of knowledge and connections in different orgs like FASA, CSA, and even KSA. Um, FASA is uh, puts in a lot of uh, effort and passion into their what they do, and they, they, it really feels like it's a home and family there. Um, after being part of FASA for so long, I realized. FASA is such a fun, active, and welcoming org, 
of the, yeah, of the event, and I wish I could bring that to our, my own culture of ESA as well. All right, thank you. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Sullivan Chen, most of you know only as Sully. I'm a freshman majoring in chemical engineering and I'm running for the position of treasurer for next year's e-board. Uh, coming into UMBC, I was very nervous about what my college experience would be, especially because uh, I, especially because I was not, 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 not great at make, um, meeting new people and everything. But before joining VSA, I always considered myself to be a really shy and quiet person, which made it hard for me to connect with other others. However, after joining, I learned to open myself up and be more comfortable with myself. Uh, the members of VSA have also been so inviting and welcoming, which, had, which makes them feel like a second family to me. Because of this, I applied and got the position of intern. Uh, planning events with the e-board and other interns helped me, helped me with my communication skills as it pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me take initiative to get things done. Events such as the holiday party from last semester and the more recent Cafe Sada and Tai Chi study night were just some of the events that interns planned and helped me with my uh, communication skills. Uh, I believe I possess the qualifications of being a, a good treasurer. Uh, I'm organized, I get things done in a timely manner and can effectively communicate with others. If there happens to be some kind of problem with the other e members, I think it's important to be completely transparent and communicate with others because uh, being a treasurer or being any position for that matter is not about yourself but as a whole. So communication is very key. And these qualities make, it, uh, these qualities make me uh, a good candidate because the roles of a treasurer include finding scholarships and grants, reimbursing members, and keeping a lot of finances. With all that said, I hope you vote for me as treasurer and I'll give you my best effort to fill my duties. And regardless if I get the position or not, I'll be sticking around the VSA because, as I said, they're families to me and I really love, love all of you. That's it. Hello, my name is Albert Pham and I'll be running for the position of secretary of UMBC VSA during the 2018 through 2019 school year. For, more, for the most part, or for most of you that don't know, I've always gone to an all white school since elementary to high school and because of that, I've never truly experienced what Viet culture was like. I didn't even know what bubble tea tasted like until like last year. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad, but whatever. However, in my defense, I wasn't that uncultured as my parents and grandparents always kept me holding on to that part of me that was Vietnamese, no matter how hard I tried to escape as a kid. Honestly, I just didn't appreciate my culture then. But despite all that, I still gave VSA a try during my freshman year. And oh my, my opinion quickly changed. As all these things I used to hate doing, like they just became a lot more enjoyable. I was no longer the only Vietnamese kid forced into my Viet roots by my parents, but someone who could truly enjoy it with other people from VSA. By joining VSA, I learned one of the most valuable lessons in my life, and that's to be open-minded. Like even if you aren't Vietnamese, I believe you still should give VSA a try, as you may never know, you might end up loving it as much as I do. And all that's, and with all that said, my goal for, as secretary for the upcoming year is to create many more interactive events, such as group beatouts where everyone can come together and just relax. I've always felt that within VSA, we were all like kind of divided and into multiple groups, and my mission is to change that. I want every one of us to be able to come out of VSA with some of the best friends that you'll know for the rest of your life. Thank you. Cool. Hi everyone, um, I'm a freshman majoring in biochemistry and I'm looking to run as your next secretary for the 2018-2019 school year. And what made me come out to VSA was being having the opportunity to meet other people that are similar to me and, and meeting other people that are also Vietnamese and also being able to learn about my culture. I grew up in a predominantly white area in Baltimore and then when I moved to Montgomery County, I was able to meet a lot of other Asian people but most of them were either Chinese, Korean, or Taiwanese. And coming here, I w coming to UBC, I was definitely really surprised being able to see that there are so many other Vietnamese people and I've never been surrounded by so many other people like me besides my family. And coming into college, I also knew a handful of people from my high school, but 
and because of that, I always hung around them, but I realized that I won't be able to grow as a person or change my college experience and make it different from high school if I hang around the same people. So when Involvement Fest came around, I signed up for VSA, and when I got the first email about the first GBM, I was actually thinking about not going because I was lazy, shy, and scared, but I also thought that if, how can I meet other people if I don't take the first step? So I definitely came out to the first GBM, and after the first few, I wasn't too comfortable, or and plus there weren't any events yet, but But after um, Ace Week happened and we had the ice cream speed friending social, that was definitely my most memorable event in VSA. I was able to talk to many current VSA members and I found it really fun getting to know all of them and they're all interesting people and it made me and it helped me envision myself become making a big impact on VSA and VSA making a big impact on myself on myself. And why I want to run as secretary is because secretary is the messenger between general body members and an e-board and I want to be able to improve, improve the communication and encourage more members to come out and also improve GBMs since I realized that this semester the turnout wasn't too good but I want to make people realize that GBMs are just as important as the actual events VSA puts on and seeing other VSAs at other schools from Mac and going to CP's culture show, I realized that I want to make our VSA just as hype and proudly represent our school UMBC. Thank you. Uh, greetings to all my colleagues, friends, mentors, and members of our VSA eBoard. Um, my name is Brandon Kim. I'm a freshman at University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and I'm filled with joy to inform you that I will be running for the position of EVP. It excites me to have this opportunity to not only represent all of you, but I'm thrilled to put in the necessary efforts that will be needed. To not only represent all of you, but... Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, I am humbled by our current e-board e members, um, as they have given me a place where we can all share our love and passions for not only the Vietnamese culture, but also the Asian, other Asian cultures as well. Um, you may be wondering, what makes this guy so qualified for our VSA eBoard? I myself ask the same question, as I see myself as only an individual who is willing to take the necessary steps in order to make um, the UMBC VSA good as it's been for the past two semesters that I've been here. Um, as EVP, I would like to reach out to other schools and try to arrange more mixers and events to allow the uni the members of UMBC VC, VSA to not only get to know more people at UMBC but as well as other schools in the nation. I plan on starting on the schools in the Mid-Atlantic region as they're closest to us and we'd be seeing them in, at MAC, known as, or other known as um, the Mid-Atlantic Conference. I love, me, new me, I love meeting new people and I see myself as a people person and want to use this life skill in order to make VSA feel more like a family and more cohesive. I believe that VSA has been progressively becoming more clicky and I want to strive to break that divide and make it so that VSA is more of a unit rather than an organization with multiple social groups in it. This task will not be easy, but with the new executive board and our members, I have confidence in that we will continue in making VSA so great. I would like to ask that you put your trust in me and vote for me as the next EVP. Together we can make this organization greater than it already has been. If you have doubts, just believe in the current e-board. Thank you. All right, hi. Uh, I know I'm not the best speaker, but I'll try to get, try my best to get my point across. All right, for people who don't know me, my name is uh, Clinton Huynh, and I'm a junior majoring in mechanical engineering. I want to run for IVP position because I want to make new members feel welcome and feel like they're a part of a family that I can support them. And um, we'll be there for them if needed. Growing up, I was an only child and never had like a support group or like a, a sense of family. I never, I never like uh, like being Vietnamese or like being proud of Vietnamese because it felt so different like an out an outcast like without everyone around me. Uh, now people like understand like uh, uh, being like a first generation Vietnamese born and like growing up in like a predominantly low income Black Hispanic family and uh, Black Hispanic area. But that was until I went to college and came out to a few 
uh, VSA GPU on this. Then uh, my friend took me out to Mac conference and I met a lot of people. It was a fun opportunity that I should have missed out on VSA. I met a lot of people that, uh, uh, that we share the same struggle and similarities with growing up as Asian Americans. I learned a lot through people's uh, life stories and experiences growing up uh, um, like that. And I felt like a sense of belonging when I went to Mac and joined VSA. VSA gave me a chance to grow and meet new people. Uh, I feel like I'm a good fit for EVP position on the, on the new eboard next year. With my knowledge and connections in different orgs on campus, with FASA, CSA, and even KSA, we will hope to do more collabs, continue more socials. After, after being part of a, a great org like FASA, I want to give back to my own uh, cultural org in VSA and make, make, make it a good as them. Um, uh, like improving the Big and Little program or like having the lineage games and having activities where you can bond more of your uh, Big and Little. It's uh, getting to know a person more, more than just uh, on the surface. Uh, after being FASA, going to two MAC conferences, leadership, camp, college park, uh, USA events, and culture shows over the past three years, I learned a lot of experiences and knowledge about how VC runs an org and seeing how well, what, uh, what works well and what doesn't work well and the true vision and what uh, VSA is truly about. That's why I want to give back and join VSA's uh, e-board and share our knowledge in the Vietnamese culture and take a leadership result and to grow as a person as well as a leader and, and support the Vietnamese community. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Pham and I'm an upcoming sophomore currently in the 2 plus 2 pre-nursing track here at UMBC. I'm running for the position of internal vice president of VSA. I was first introduced to VSA by my dad and my cousins. My dad was a member of VSA back in the day and he would tell me stories he had with the friends that he made within the club. And he still is in contact with those friends till this day. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> As for my cousins, they also joined VSA when they went to college. They told me great stories and basically opened the doors for me and really encouraged me to join VSA. Coming in as a freshman, I didn't know what to expect. Everything was so new and there were many clubs that caught my attention. But VSA was an organization that I knew I would join without a doubt. It was a club that allowed me to meet new people who has the same worries as I did and also allowed me to meet people who I would, all, would be able to connect with. Joining VSA, there are many new faces, but as I attended events such as East Leak, I was given the opportunity to meet more people. I then was able to get to know them even more later on through attending GBMs, events, or just seeing them around school. As I grew closer to them, my passion for this organization grew as well. I decided to run for IVP because the ACE program was one of the events that really caught my attention, and ACE Week was organized by the IVP. ACE Week gave new students like myself the opportunity to meet other students who could help mentor them and give them guidance. Through this program, I was able to gain two amazing people I can call my, as my aunt and my chief. As an eboard member, I, helped to, I hope to help new members gain someone that could help guide them and be there for them as well. <coughs> I want them to feel the welcome feeling that I felt being part of VSA. As I continue to see how VSA worked as a member, I know I want to do more than just be a small part of the cultural work. I want to give more input and help this organization continue to grow as well as letting other students create fun memories and good friendships like I do. Thank you. Hello, my name is Austin Lee, and I'm currently running for the 2018-2019 VSA's president. Uh, some of you might not know who me, and you guys are probably wondering why even vote for a person you don't know. So I'm going to start with a little story about my experience in VSA and how I came to this position, like right here, right now. It all started freshman year, I went out to one GBM, and to be honest, it wasn't the most warm, welcoming I experienced. I thought everyone had their own friend groups, and it was kind of, it wasn't as inviting as I wanted it to be, so I didn't come out as often after that. Actually, I didn't come out at all. Um, sophomore year, my friend Hau over there actually convinced me to come out more, and I kind of got a general feel of what VSA was, and it wasn't until junior year that I actually got involved. And it was this year that I realized that this was what I wanted to be a part of. It was an experience that I personally did not expect to have. And I made friends with people that I thought I would never even talk to. And 
I met a lot of amazing individuals from other schools. Something that I probably wouldn't have received if I never came out to BSA. So my goals as president is to, oh, well now you're wondering what this whole spiel's about and why I'm running for president. <laughs> my goals as president is to be, I want our members to be more inviting towards new individuals coming into these events. My second goal is to more modernize. I want to modernize our current events. Now, this year I went out to events like Cafe Sudan Night, Karaoke Night, uh, what's other night called? This other night, Game Night. And tr I truly loved it. It was a fun experience, but at the same time, times are changing and this generation doesn't really find what we typically enjoy anymore. Um, incoming freshmen and so our upcoming sophomore class don't really see or have the same perspective on things that we typically do. And that's something I really want to change as next year's president. My last goal as president is to be, well, my last goal as president is for VSA to be more involved in the community. As someone who was part of Kiwanis since like middle school, I feel like we don't really give to our community enough. And personally, I want, that's, that's something I would like to change. Well, that's my agenda as next year's president. And I hope you guys vote for me. I'm good. Okay. A few years ago, in my high school days, I asked my cousin, who was attending University of Maryland College Park at the time, where she found her close group of friends. Her answer was VSA. Hi, my name is Nathan Wynn, an upcoming senior, I guess, um, and I'm running for president. Growing up constantly moving around from state to state, I never had the opportunity to make friends, but more importantly, to keep them. Uh, however, there was one constant that stayed with me, and that was my culture. So fast forward a couple years and a school transfer later, uh, I knew the first thing I had to do was join VSA. However, some things happened, so my real first event uh, that wasn't a GVM was the holiday party. Uh, there, I met one indiv individual that kept me in VSA, and I know now that when she graduates, it won't be the same without her. I also know that this Sunday wouldn't happen if I didn't have her by my side. Alongside her was another individual that kept me involved. However, not with UMBC VSA, but with Mavza. It's amazing what one person can do to change someone, to push them to come out to events. I want to be that person to others, whether it be incoming freshmen or complete strangers that just happen to walk into GPM. Currently, I'm the culture chair of VSA. I have planned for the most part the entire show, both myself and with both Truck and my aunt. The show has been a year in the making, and it's also a big milestone for our VSA since it's our fifth annual uh, coach show. And the fruits of just not the current executive board's later labor, but also the general members, uh, will be seen this Sunday. This Sunday, I'm running for president not because I wanted to, because I had to. I knew that a few years from now, uh, when I look back at my college career, I didn't want to regret not running. Coach show reminded me why I love VSA so much. Uh, and that's because I love seeing people grow. To keep pushing people and give them opportunities to step out of their comfort zone. And as president, not only do I want to keep the growth that my big help create uh, continue, but I also want whoever is on my executive board to grow as well. Whether it's for leadership or resume voting, I want everyone on the executive board to learn something out of this that isn't something negative, but rather something that could be used in the workplace. I feel I am most fit for president because not only have I been on this group for a year now, but for also the things I've done with Mavza, I've attended both the Mavza Advanced Conference uh, and the Mavza Leadership Camp. I was part of the Programming Camp Committee for the Mavza Legacy Awards. I know that even if I don't win this position, I know that this org will remain in good hands. And I know that I'll still be involved through VSA. I met so many individuals that made it impact and shape me to the person I am today, some of whom I can call my close group of friends. So thank you for your time and vote for me for your VSA president. <laughs>